Hello, this is Marcus with MLC CAD, and I've got a flow simulation study here that I'm looking at the results and trying to just understand the, the, the response of the system to the inputs and understand exactly what's happening inside there. Now, that's great. It gives me a good understanding of what's going on. Maybe it'll give me some inspiration on how I can change the design and make it better. Uh, but what I want to do is get some hard data. I want to get some very specific numbers, data points that I can use to uh, show and, and document the performance of this design, also possibly to measure its performance against other design variables. So I have a couple different ways that I can go about doing this. The first one is just going to be a goal plot. Now I've gone through and created these goals for each one of the outlets to understand exactly what the value of the flow rate is at each one of those. So by simply telling it that I want to specify an Excel spreadsheet with all those variables in there, it's going to kick out an Excel spreadsheet and tabulate that data very quickly. So I can see what the flow rates are at each one of those various locations. And since it's Excel, I can come in and apply any other transformations that I need to to analyze this data and take a look at it a little bit further. So that's an easy way to gather that data. If this was a transient study, those would all be graphs over time rather than single static data points. I may, once, uh, once I get everything going and, and get it all put together, I may decide that there's some other areas or some other values that I'm interested in, such as the upstream pressure. What was the upstream pressure on this inlet face? All I told it was the incoming volume flow rate. Well, it's very easy to just add a surface parameter and make a measurement. So I'm going to ask it to show me what the pressure is on that face, and it comes in and gives me the minimum, the maximum, and the average uh, pressure uh, across that entire face opening. So very easy to grab any data point that I need, uh, not a lot of extra effort required. And those data points can be a global, meaning anywhere inside the volume of the entire system, you know, what's the max pressure, what's the minimum pressure. It could be at any given surface or even at a specific point if you have maybe a, a, a position where you're going to place one of your uh, probes uh, to, to correlate with test data. Another common one is going to be an XY plot and this one is great for understanding the pressure drop and the velocity profile kind of as the air is flowing down the length of this design. So I'm going to take a look at the pressure and at the velocity and in fact it's actually going to be the velocity in the z direction specifically that I might be interested in that's going to really make it important uh, to understand. So it's going to export this to Excel and again it's going to do a really nice job of uh, displaying the data but in, because I have it across an, an axis it's going to ahead and graph it for me and you can actually see as the length goes along the velocity starts to decrease. It starts to get closer to zero and you can see little bumps where each one of those outlets is causing an impact in the flow parameters. So these variables and these values would make it very easy for me to compare this one design to the next and to really understand a percentage of change or perhaps a, an effect on, on the flow rate of each individual outlet or point. So just because I didn't ask for all the values that I might be interested, it doesn't mean I can't go and get those values and then generate all that data. And then this information can be exported, whether it be to an animation file, to a report with screenshots, or whether it's just simply uh, the data graphs that I'm trying to do uh, to send out. So that's how you will take your flow simulation values and get real hard data for your design.